<laughs> hey everybody, Ophelos here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, well, we explored a lot more Temperantia. This very desolate and destroyed land. And this time, well, we have ourselves, um, Ismet here. Hey, it's a pleasure. You may not know me, but I certainly know of you. You are the one to defeat the terrible Aishma, aren't you? Given your apparent skill, there is something I would like to ask of you. Will you hear me out? I reckon we ought to find out more. What do you think, Pandoria? Alright then. I'm a member of the Technological Research Center. And the object you see beside me is the remains of a weapon used in a great war in the age long past. I intend to research how it operated and the functions it served. With any luck, we can use it as an inspiration to develop modern weapons for the Ardenian army. There are similar weapons strewn all across Temperantia. I would appreciate if you could help me collect them. Alright then. I believe there is a large number of these weapon relics out there, but four should be plenty enough for my purposes. So we have Judicium's Legacy. A very fun quest. So as you can see, there are a lot of them. Probably best I don't... I don't feel comfortable with this, but we'll roll with it. So the first one of these is going to be out here. Oh yeah, very not recommended. So you need Ancient Wisdom. Alright then, the remaining of them will be closer to the center. Well, I guess in that general area. Ugh. Very much not good. So, yeah. Anyways, I never quite went over that area. There's a cliffside up there with a pretty strong, unique monster that I'm not going to take on right now. Maybe off screen, but not right now. I'm just going to avoid Mr. T-Rex. You mind moving? Okay, fine. Alright, there he goes. I am most certainly not in an advantageous position to take on those monsters. So where is the rest of these? Alright. Next one's gonna be right down in the canyon. Under so right here at the Great Archway. Cool. <laughs> All in one piece. Oof. So at the Malignant... Like really? Alright. No idea how I avoided that. Alright. Inside this chest, common core, ambush boost. But the main area is this right here. It is good to dwell Give me my ancient wisdom. Alright then. And that's the second one of these. Huh. <sighs> that was kind of scary. That's even more scary. There's a lot of dinosaurs, dinos right down there. And you have to go over there. Well, while we wait for the dinosaurs to do their thing, I think you might as well get the last one of these. Right over here. Alright, another weapon. It is good to dwell on Requires Ancient Wisdom level 4. Thankfully, I do have that. And now the last one. Dinosaurs, please move. Let's go. What the heck? Um, that T-Rex is spinning around in circles. Looks like we've been rumbled. No, thank you. I don't want to play. Oh, 
That's off. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Dinosaur, please eat. Not me. Looks like we've been rubbled. I hate this area. Looks like more company. Really? I don't want to play. I don't have my tank. How far do you guys go? Well, this sucks. So as long as I don't get spotted, can I grab my we my weapon and go? Thank you. Man, this one sucks. It's like in between everything. All right then. So with this, we can now turn in the side quest. So, upon doing this, this is where the side quest is going to deviate. The reason why is because if more egg is in your active party, the remainder of the side quest will change a little bit. Meaning, you will not get the rewards, which is kind of bad. But on the good side though, you will get another one of those things for uh, Perun. Another one of those good deeds. However, though I already have all the good deeds, and it's a lot better to do this. There's easy way to do. There's easier ways to boost up your uh, good deeds. Hmm. I see you finished collecting the ancient weapons. Very impressive. Here you go. You have my gratitude. With these, my research should should progress by leaps and bounds. I'm sorry I had to bother you all with such a menial task. All the soldiers stationed here are from Division One of the uh, Second Imperial Guard. You know. I was asking them for help, but they have their hands full guarding Ishma, so I suddenly rejected. So we have a fair bit of research funds to spare. I'm sure to pay you handsomely. Thanks. Alright then. We've completed Judicium's legacy, and we get a lot of good rewards. I think you'll keep the experience, but the SP, gold, and your uh, other stuff, not so much. Again... There's easier ways to boost up your affinity. Nice. So that is the last side quest here in Temperantia. I know, it's kind of weird. Before we do so... Okay, we need lock. We need Ancient Wisdom level 5. So as soon as we can get another Ancient Wisdom, that'd be fine. But that's all there is here. Next up, we need to head to Gormont. For side quests, I thought we could do a lot earlier, but we can't. Um, location we need to go to is at the Torgoth base entrance. Alright then. So, our next side quest is going to involve Ash. I don't like the side quest. What's up? What my companion mean? What meant it by was salutations. Can't say I'm in the mood for pleasantries. Something wrong. We sent a vermin specialist by an armed escort to check out to check on the wolf. But they're late coming back by days. The critters have attacked villagers and nulpon traders. And and so we needed to look into population control methods. Two of the three guards we sent along were drivers. I didn't expect any issues when the, when it came to combat, but well, Wow, that sucks. We're stretched thin as it is. So we're, so we're missing two two of our drivers go missing. Can you imagine? Now the brass don't want to risk losing even more people if something were to happen to the rescue party. Allow us to assist. Would you really? I hate to ask such a dangerous job with strangers. <clears throat> you speak that to Special Inquisitor. All right. Oh, you got blades too. What is Rook of Luck? Yeah, we have the Flamebringer. You don't know who we are? Seriously. Many wolf sightings have been made near Varnix Plunge. That's where the researcher was headed. It's a big waterfall in the Titan's lower side. Alright then, so... Let's do Whereabouts Unknown. This side quest is interesting. In that there is two routes to this. One route we're not going to do. Yeah, there is the good route and the bad route. 
The thing about... The thing about the, uh... Bad route is that... Well... It's more reasonable to complete. So the area we need to go to is right down... Right below here. Fun. Um... That's a fatal fall. But I believe we can fall right here. Yeah, this will be fine. Alright. Are they really expecting us to go to level 80 zone? No. So we're here with a bunch of dead soldiers. Alright then, researcher is un unaccounted for. Chance he got away. Um, another soldier here. Alright, dead those spike marks. So there's tracks on the ground. So with this we can follow him. Alright then. And then the last soldier there fades away. So with this we can follow the tracks. Nothing too bad. I think we can open that, but I'm not really going to bother with that. Alright. Hello there, randomly falling wolf. Okay, tracks kind of let off, but here we are. So yeah, the side quest is meant to do later- is meant to do right now. I thought we could do the side quest a lot earlier, but I guess not. So coming right up here, dead wolves? Um, large wounds. Okay. And there's even larger tracks. Okay. Looks like we're getting into some, uh, higher level stuff. Ooh. Those are some large tracks. Boom. Boom. Hopefully nothing bad happens and we don't have to fight some super, super high leveled enemy. Huh. Weird. The dinosaur that's normally here isn't here. Eh, must be nothing. So upon following these tracks, we can make our way to the back towards this den. Okay. Let's see what's here. Oh, the Roman specialist. Oh boy! Engaging the enemy. Rampaging Sorrows! You have to fight them! You only have to do a little bit. Yes, it has to take off 1% of its health. Which isn't too much. But... This is level 91. Hmm. We may be way over our heads. I better think this one through. Um... This enemy is quite strong. You can attempt to take it. You get better rewards. However, though, it's level 91. How likely is it that you're going to be able to take down a level 91 dinosaur with 3 million health when the last boss was 500,000 at most? Yeah, let's retreat. So you can take him on, but it's not recommended. Save that for New Game Plus. Very good. Or should I say, very wise. So there is an alternative. A nasty alternative you can do. And that, you can change your difficulty. To bringer of Jesus. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Crap, 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 crap. Hooray for being a dodge tank! Well done. I agree, well done. <laughs> well, we're messing with the big guys. Thank goodness Morag's too much of a badass to take that crap. I was not expecting to run into them. So, we need to deal with a way to take on level... To take on a gigantic dinosaur without changing the difficulty. 
You can bring on the difficulty to change its attack stat to relatively reasonable to what you would expect. Level yourself up to level 60. And we could have taken him on. We could have in theory. In praxis though. I don't recommend it. I'm not one for bringing on cheese. So let's do things the intended way, shall we? You return. What news of the research party? So here's the thing, yeah? Oh, rampaging sorrows. I never knew creatures like that lived in Gormon. So everyone's... I see. I'd, I'd like to go repay my respects, but... With that thing running around, it might be too dangerous for me. Talk about a tricky situation. A oh, rampaging sorrows. Hmm. There's a scholar by the name of Tishkin in the, uh... Borough of Industry Ward in the Ardenian capital, Alba Kavanich. I vaguely remember him publishing a paper on the Rampaging Soros. Maybe he know a good way of dispatching one. Alright, makes sense, so... Let's go on ahead. So next up... Well, we can do that quest. We'll probably do that later. Let's head to Moradine. And talk to this little scholar. Alright, location we need to go to. Who the peck is calling? Buzz off. Sorry about that. People love calling for some reason. Oh, hello. Are you biology enthusiasts? Crops have been failing recently, and that's why I'm researching how to increase agricultural... So here's the thing, yeah? Oh, he's... Oh, my. When, you both, when we were both young, we often team up to work in the field. A rampaging sorrows, huh? I'd like to hear the juicy details. <laughs> I'm just a humble biologist, but... Hold on, there's one plant with properties that may be of use here. Is that right? You see, a few years back I published a research paper on Benoit Nuts and the Rampaging Sorrows. You see, when a Rampaging Sorrows and just Boit Nuts, sorry, Boit Nuts, it becomes greatly intoxicated, which impairs its motor skills. In other words, it's as if it's drunk. You may be able to use this fact to more easily deal with, ev with even the most ferocious of specimens. Makes sense. Rampaging sorrows normally like to hide in their roots, making them hard to track down. But they do often mark their territory, leaving claw marks around the area. Place a Benoit nuts inside the marked territory to lure the beast out. If, you if it takes a bait, it's all yours. Alright then. So they come from a rare plant which grows in Moradain. So you can find them near Turbine Tower. Okay. So this Turbine Tower they're talking about is going to be in the upper level. And, oh. I thought it was level 60 zone. Whew. No, level fit, level normal zone. Alright then. Let's go. So, area we need to go to is right beyond here. You know, after trying to sneak around level 50 to 70 to 90 enemies, these guys are rather small fry. So, right back here is our nut. So, back to Gormont we go. Alright. So we have a nut, so let's go on ahead and make the Mr. Dinosaur drunk. Oh, hey, cool, there's even a dead armor here. Don't mind me. Awesome. Alright then, and with that, Rampaging Sorrows is a lot more reasonable to take on right now. So, let's go ahead and take on the Rampaging Sorrows. A very, still very powerful, but not as bad. Alright. You see Taze? Alright. So yeah, Rampaging Sorrows, overall not too bad. Not liking all the lag though. Okay. Really want to take me on? Alright. Alright. 
And we got ourselves an element on. Nice. Yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, Dino Cyclone is really the one attack you want to avoid. That's the main thing about Saros is. I should know because I'm used to farming them. Oh, I forgot I have Diamond Mist on you. Well, not too bad. Dino Cannon. No, thank you. I think it's time you get dunked on. Oh. Not good. Um. Pandoria! Please hit the water thing! Thank you. It's GG time. All right, draw mark. All right, and Wolfric, do your Kamehameha. All right, last round. Rigid should be enough to take it out. All right, another round for Korra. And overkill time. Praxis, finish it out. Beautiful. 3,000. I agree. Ultra ultimate chain attack. So we kill our first dinosaur. You guys are all small fry. Yeah, you guys are so done. Please don't call your friends. You're just delaying the inevitable. They would just not stop coming. Eh. So, with all that bull crap out of the way, we can head in here, investigate the uh, specimen. Nope. Well, not letting me. Weird. But nevertheless, the threat has been taken care of, so let's go ahead and turn things in. Alright then. And with that, we have completed the side quest. Sorry about that. A lot of stuff came up. We're back. You've taken care of the rampaging sorrows. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. Such trifling matters are no trouble at all. Seriously, I don't know how to thank you enough. Would you mind telling me exactly where you found them all? Got it. Thank you. At the very least, I expect the wolf won't be too keen to return to where their comrades fell. And since you've taken care of the rampaging sorrows, the threat to the area should have passed. I think I'll go and pay my respects to the fallen angels. That, and I'd like to have something I could pass on to the families. Thank you once again for your cooperation. And with that, we have completed Whereabouts Unknown. Kind of a sad quest, so your rewards are naturally going to be better if you can defeat the Rampaging Sorrows. Thing though is that if you can beat the Rampaging Sorrows, you don't need those rewards because you are pretty much set for the rest of the game. But with that, I think we made pretty good progress this episode. There's not much I can think of that we can do right now. At least time-wise. A lot of a lot of characters had, had some stuff to do. Um Alright, sure, spawn on top of me. So with that, we made good progress this episode. And next time is Zenobi Chronicles 2. Well, before we head out, there's one last thing I want to show. A very funny line. Next time, we're going to continue going through Gorma, doing some more side quests. And yeah, Zeke, take it away! I just had a frightful dream. This isn't a joke. Please try harder. Of course it's a joke. I love causing suffering to Zeke. I mean, he is the bringer of chaos and he's definitely used to it. 
Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Before I do, I just want to see if I can upgrade the uh, Arduino a bit more. Since we are a bit later in the game. Alright. Nice, Energy Arbor Gen. Alright, eat up my friend. Alright, enough derping around. I'll see you guys in the next episode.